Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Today, I wanted to take a look at the new 2024 Toyota Tacoma Trail Hunter. It's the version that I'm going to get eventually when it's available down the road. So I thought we would go out to Toyota's site and actually pull it up and take a look at it. So we're going to switch over here. And you can see, first of all, it's a gorgeous truck, right? I mean, I love the color that it's in. And if you click down here on the little info thing, it says Trail Hunter shown in bronze oxide. But it does say prototype shown with options, production model may vary. So maybe we're going to get that color, maybe we're not. Hopefully they do because it looks awesome. Just looking at this first page here, or these pictures, next up off to the right, they show the new wheels. They are bronze. I think they go really good with this color as well. I think they're awesome. Again, if you click that little eye, it says it's shown in bronze oxide. Uh, but it's a prototype and options may vary. So we may not get that combination. Who knows? And then further down, right below that, of course, you've got the suspension. They show a Trail Hunter looks to be a shock. Interestingly, if you click that little I, it says it's an old man, old man emu shock. Um, but it doesn't state anything about being prototype only. So I can only assume that that is what we're going to get. Now, let's look at the interior. If you pull that up. This is the interior of the Trail Hunter. And I know that because, again, I clicked that little eye down there and it says Trail Hunter interior shown in mineral. So I guess mineral is what they're calling that interior color with the stitching. It looks a little bit orange to me, which is cool. I kind of dig it. Uh, but I really like it. I think it looks really good. Now, the seats that they show, and it doesn't say anything about it, but they look to be ventilated seats, probably heated and ventilated. We'll find out. Now, clicking on some of the options that they show here, the little pulsating pluses, uh, the first one says that it's a 14-inch uh, multimedia screen compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, I think that's a given now. We're going to have that floating screen. Uh, Toyota seems to be going to that, so it's not a big surprise. Off to the bottom here, you click that. It says it has a dual USB-C with power delivery. Uh, 52 and a half watts combined maximum power, supposedly to give you about twice as fast uh, charging as you would on the old, I guess, uh, standard USB-C port. So quicker charging, I guess, is, is the uh, bottom line there. And then up to the right, of course, the JBL 10 speaker sound system. Should sound pretty good in there, I think. I don't really have any issues with the JBL. I can't say that I find it to be overwhelmingly better than any other sound system, but hey, whatever. Now, something else I noticed on this picture here, if you look off to the left, right by the steering wheel, the driver's side, there is no grab handle there. That's very strange because I thought I had seen it in some of the other prototypes, but maybe not. I have it in the new Tundra, so I'm a little surprised that we don't have it in the Tacoma. Maybe it's just this Trail Hunter version. Maybe they figure that your head will be bouncing around more and you have more of a chance of hitting that or something. I'm not quite exactly sure, but I find it uh, a little baffling that we don't have that. The other big thing, of course, or big things, you've got the new center console area with a different shifter there, somewhat uh, reminiscent of the new Tundra. It's just a little bit smaller, it would appear. And then over above, above the glove box, you've got the Toyota lettering. Might be cooler if it said Tacoma, I don't know, but it says Toyota and it's the kind that's raised. I don't know if it's actually stamped into that piece or if they're stick on letters. Maybe it's something you could pull off if you didn't really like it. I'm not exactly sure. And then I can't tell, but it would appear behind those Toyota letters like you have some storage there, some sort of shelf. I'm not exactly sure. Now, down at the bottom here, we can click on the truck bed. So I'm interested to see what this is all about. 
Looks fairly standard, although if you look at it closely, you can see a couple of LED lights that are a little bit different than what we've had before. And of course, the chase bar, sport bar, roll bar, whatever you want to call it, uh, that seems to be standard on this truck. Not quite sure about that, though. Now, clicking on some of these uh, plus signs they show, these are for highlighted options, things that Toyota really wants us to know about, right? It says here, an off-roader's work is never done, so keep it going way past sundown with Tacoma's available LED lights, and those are the two lights that you can see in the bed here, on the third tail light, located on the third tail light. Not quite sure what that means. What I see here next to the bed lights are the LED bed lights, but apparently uh, there is another light in that third brake light, which I'm not surprised. That's pretty standard. Uh, and then they do say something about integrated lights uh, into the bed cap, pro providing uh, surrounding light outside the vehicle. So that kind of makes me think that there might be some kind of lights up in the bed caps, the rail caps. I'm not quite exactly sure what they mean there. Going down to this next little plus it has a 2400 watt power inverter so apparently you can plug in uh, anything it sounds like uh, that you could plug into a standard household outlet so maybe if you have a cooler or uh, some sort of a, a cooktop or something that's electric maybe you don't have to haul around propane anymore although i'm not quite sure about the wattage on those though you might actually start to get close to exceeding that 24 100 watt limit i don't know but wouldn't it be cool i might even consider camping if i didn't have to haul around propane uh you could actually just plug uh, some sort of a burner into that if you will and then uh go ahead and cook whatever you need i suppose now looking on down we have another plus uh symbol here and i really like this this is a power up and down tailgate it says here, with the press of a button on the key fob or a push on a switch near either tail light, Tacoma's power tailgate can be opened or closed from inside or outside of the vehicle. So it automatically goes down. That's not too difficult. I mean, a lot of trucks have that now. You push a button, it releases it, it kind of slowly goes down. But now we can hit another button and have it slowly go up. Not quite sure what the real world benefit of that is, to be honest. I mean, if you're hauling something in the back of the truck, you're not going to push a button to have it go up. And if you're standing back there and you've loaded it and there's nothing sitting on the tailgate, you could just grab it and close it, right? I mean, these tailgates these days are not very heavy. So it's not like it's going to save you a lot of stress and strain by going ahead and just closing it manually. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see once they have it out. And I'm assuming these buttons they talk about are integrated into the taillights like they are with the Tundra. I, I would imagine it's going to be a very similar uh, approach. And then down below, one other thing I want to note, down below that tailgate you can see there are two uh, tow hooks, one on each side in red. Uh, that's pretty cool, something that uh, I think is needed back there. And then going back to the uh, original photo, and you really can't see it here. I wonder if they show it. Let's see. Yeah, right down here. I guess we have a couple more pictures. On the left, you can see it has a steel bumper. That's something new, at least uh, from the factory anyway, on the Tacoma. And probably those, well, I'm guessing those tow hooks you saw are fastened into the frame underneath the bumper, some frame members. And then on the right, you see a lot of underbody protection here, and I'm wondering if uh, Toyota didn't design those in such a way that they also protect the catalytic converters. I would assume so. That'll give you a little bit of theft protection underneath the truck as well. Anyway, I just wanted to get on, kind of do a little refresher for myself as to what this new Trail Hunter Tacoma is going to be. I can't wait for it to come out, although I'm thinking it's probably going to be spring to summer next year before we actually see it leave a comment let me know what you think of this truck is this the model you're looking at or are you going to go with something else like maybe the pro or the off-road or the trd sport i'd be curious to know thanks for watching stay safe out there
Bye.